and professor of Middle Eastern politics from University of Oklahoma joins us on the news for his perspective on this. Many thanks to you, Sam Shihata, for joining us on this hour. Let's get your thoughts on this. Professor, um, sorry, President uh, Donald Trump yesterday in his speech said it looks like Iran might be standing down, but following history, do you think Iran is standing down? I think Iran is standing down in the short term, but I would not be surprised. And in fact, I would expect in the medium term that there would be other responses, other responses that might not be as clearly identifiable coming from Iran. They could be cyber attacks on American infrastructure. They could be slowing down shipping in the Persian Gulf and so on. So this is not the end of the story. But as for now, Yes, I do not anticipate there to be an increased escalation in the conflict. Um, the president also talked about negotiations um, with Iran. Do you see the possibility of that? No, there will be no direct negotiations between the United States and Iran in the open. I think the Iranians, quite rightly, do not trust this president. As you know, he withdrew the United States from the JCPOA, that is the Joint Comprehensive uh, a Peace Initiative having to do with the nuclear deal. So he's completely untrustworthy and erratic. And as you know, even though Qasem Soleimani was not a, a good figure responsible for many crimes and supporting the murderous regime in Syria, committing war crimes, what the United States did and what President Trump ordered was a violation of international law and a violation of American law against assassination. So they will not trust the United States under this administration and there will be no open negotiations likely. Um, there is supposed to be a vote today um, in the House of Representatives in the U.S. Um, as to, well, to limit the president's um, power on military, uh, military actions. How do you see that playing out, seeing that it is a, a democratic house, basically? Yes. Well, I believe that the Democrats should do this for a number of reasons. As you might not know, it is the United States Congress that is authorized to declare war and engage in military action, not the president of the United States. Of course, that has not been the case over the last 40 or 50 years. But by the Constitution, it is the Congress that is supposed to authorize war. Secondly, the president has demonstrated his irresponsibility. There is no evidence, no one has been convinced that uh, Qasem Soleimani was posing a direct, immediate, imminent threat to Americans. And so President Trump's actions has made matters worse and has increased threats against the United States. So Democratic and other Congress people would be well within their rights and, and it would be a very good policy to undertake legislation that limits the president's ability to undertake further irresponsible action. All right. Professor of Middle Eastern Politics from University of Oklahoma, Sameh Shihata, many thanks for your time.